What's up guys? Thank you for visiting the vlog. Welcome to Giancarlo and Nick's vlogs. This is Nick. This part of the vlog will be regarding some tech tips for technology items. We love tech, Giancarlo and I, and in this episode we're going to be talking about how to update the firmware on your Phantom 4 Pro right this way. This will hopefully help somebody with their Phantom 4 drones and it'll also work for some of your other DJI products as far as updating. So guys, first off, power on your remote, and then power on your aircraft, whichever DJI drone you're going to be updating. Power that on, they'll sync up together. So guys, as those two devices are syncing up together, then you connect your tablet slash iPad slash mobile device, whichever one you're using, and put it on the DJI Go 4 app. And then go ahead and press OK and enter the device, click Go Fly. And as it goes into the main screen, if it needs an update, it'll be notified on there. That's And for this update on the Phantom 4 Pro, I'm going to need to unplug the USB cable from the controller. and It'll need to be connected to the drone, the Phantom 4 Pro. But it's not going to connect to the mini USB, it's going to need to connect to the USB OTG cable. One end of this USB OTG cable is a micro USB, so that plugs into the side of the Phantom 4 Pro. And then the other end of this is a female USB, which the USB cable coming from the remote then connects to the OTG cable. And then the, that connects, the other end of that connects into your tablet or your phone or your iPad, whichever mobile device or portable device you're using to sync up with the Go 4 app. So at that point, you're going to be connect. You've got all the cables connected, and then it should start downloading the update. Although I've run into some problems sometimes, otherwise it would just start upgrading the firmware. One of the things to note when you're updating your firmware is you got to make sure that everything is at least 50%. One of the other ways is to connect your Phantom 4 Pro to your MacBook Pro or to your Mac laptop with a DJI Assistant app and upgrade the firmware that way. Although I've been disappointed because I've run into some problems where it does not continue or it always gets a failed to update. So folks, if you run into some problems as you're trying to upgrade the firmware on your Phantom 4 Pro and it stops midway or you start getting some errors, double check your battery life double check the battery on the drone, double check the battery on the remote and maybe even, I don't know if it matters, but on your phone uh, I double checked and I was very close to the 50% and seemed like on the drone so I had to charge the batteries up again and after that it started going on smoothly initially it kept stopping the light indicator is a little bit different when it's upgrading so different flashing symbols in the whole process earlier flashing white and then it started flashing green now it's steady red on the indicators on the rear part of the aircraft the LED indicators and right now we're at 48 percent I cut out and edited some of the parts where I was just waiting for it to complete the upgrade firmware so at this point we're just about a hundred percent now the Phantom 4 Pro has rebooted back up and the Go4 app has come back on and right there it says complete. Alright, after a successful firmware update, unplug the USB OTG cable from the drone and then unplug that USB cable from it and then connect it back to the USB plug on the remote so that way the DJI Go4 app can resync with the remote and the drone and there you go folks that's how 
my most favorite way of upgrading the firmware on the Phantom 4 Pro because I've been having troubles with the other version, the other method of, uh, of upgrading through the laptop. I'm really surprised how buggy that can get. After everything is done, it does suggest to reboot the Phantom 4 Pro and reboot the remote controller and then reopen back the app and then go into the about page on the go for app and double check your firmware to make sure you've got the upgrade successful and over there as you saw that was the latest update as of this date this video although I just got a notification that next week there's going to be another update coming up so I'm going to have to be upgrading the firmware again. Thank you so much for watching. Please click the subscribe button below and let me know what you think in the comment section. Have a good night. Peace.